Uli, you are the BP Colombo spacecraft mission director. Could you provide us with some explanations on BP Colombo mission and spacecraft? Bepi Colombo is the first ESA mission to Mercury, which is the smallest planet in our solar system and due to its position to the Sun, difficult to observe and the one which is the least explored. Mercury is a key planet for the understanding of the evolution history of our solar system and also how Earth formed and how life began. It is the planet closest to the Sun and the only one beside Earth with a magnetic field so a planet with mysteries. With our instrumentation of 11 instruments on the ESA planetary orbiter and seven on the JAXA magnetospheric orbiter, comprising spectrometers, a high resolution camera, laser altimeter, accelerometers, magnetometers, plasma particle sensors, atmospheric images, and also a radio science instrument, we are excellently equipped to investigate the planet surface, its interior, environment and its magnetism. The spacecraft consists out of ESA's transfer module, equipped with chemical and ion propulsion systems to bring us to Mercury, and the two scientific orbiters, MPO and MMO, who will execute the scientific mission over two years. Uli, I know the involvement of ESA, JAXA and industries was considerable during all of those years of development and AIT, including during this six-month launch campaign. Would you say the relationship between entities was a strength? BEPI is a very international project with contributions of a large number of European countries, the United States, Russia and of course Japan. As such, the teams running the development, procurement and also the launch campaign are of a very mixed nature. Working together was for us a very normal business over the years, independent from the individual's nationality. Due to the common objective to bring a reliably working spacecraft into orbit, the team spirit was one of the driving elements to work successfully over such a long period as we have done for our project. Could you explain in a few words what will happen from separation from launch vehicle up to Mercury descent? BEPI will separate approximately 28 minutes after launch, performs the deployment of the solar arrays, the antennas and the magnetometer boom, and then, after a small commissioning period, starts its seven years long journey to Mercury, where we will arrive in December 2025. To reach Mercury, we need the energy from nine planetary flyby assists, one time Earth, two times Venus, and six times Mercury itself, before entering the Mercury orbit. Arriving there, we will jettison the MTM first, then the spinning JAXA orbiter and the structure MOSIF, which protected the MMO during cruise, before we will lower the MPO into its lower orbit by chemical propulsion. 